Hi everyone, this is Brian Botkiller, and in today's Tech Tuesday, we're taking a quick look at the Gigabyte Z170HD3P. This is a LGA 1151 uh, motherboard. It's compatible with the new Skylake processors from Intel, and um, I'm doing this handheld and from my workbench today because I'm just honestly really busy. I don't have a lot of time to set up the, the usual thing. So I apologize. This one's going to be quick. I just want to show you guys this board real quick because it is new. So let's just take a quick look. Um, this is the board itself. I have a Skylake 6700K installed in here, which is pretty cool. Now, you know, Skylake is the new... Uh, processor family, the new processor generation from Intel. But the interesting thing about Skylake is that honestly it, it doesn't offer a whole lot on the processor itself above the previous generation of Haswell series processors. What it does give you access to is a lot more peripherals on your motherboard and what your motherboard's capable of and things like that. So we're going to talk about that real quickly. Um, I'm not really going to show you what's in the box with this board because it's the same stuff. It's always the same stuff, guys. It's a bunch of SLI connectors and some SATA cables and some documentation that you'll probably mostly skip over. So we're just going to talk about the board. Um, let's start as we usually do on the South Bridge and just take a quick look at that. Uh, South Bridge is pretty basic gigabyte fare. Um, with your audio connectors, COM, uh, LPT, and TPM. I, I don't know why, honestly, Gigabyte keeps putting these on. I don't know who is using them, but they're there. Um, two USB front panel connectors and the Gigabyte style front panel connector. Fan connector right over here. Uh, interesting thing about this board is it has two legacy PCI slots. So this is interesting to me because I've been seeing legacy PCI just go away. Suddenly now on this board there's two of them. I <laughs> don't know why. Uh, we have a PCI 16, a uh, PCIe 16, a PCIe 4, and a PCIe 1 here, and then another PCIe 1 here. So there is a lot of PCIe on this. There's also a Thunderbolt um, header connector. Now this is for an add-in Thunderbolt card to add Thunderbolt to this board. So if you need Thunderbolt, you can uh, you can do that on this board. And that's one of the things that Skylake is going to give you access to is a lot more uh, peripheral features. That's really the big selling point. Again, I'm going to get into that in a few moments here. Okay, let's take a look at the eastern side of the board. As I was saying, there's a fan connector there. Here you have your SATA connectors. We're just going to look at those real quick. There's two SATA Express. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, there's three SATA Express. Hey. And then you have uh, f six standard SATA 3 connectors. So, not a ton on this. You're not going to be building huge raids, but those SATA Express connectors are pretty cool. Those are going to become a lot more commonplace, I think, as time goes on. Another fan connector, two USB 3.0 header connectors, kind of interesting, and your ATX power connector. All right, so now we're moving on up to the North Bridge. And um, North Bridge, four RAM slots. And again, I guess Gigabyte now is going to the Asus-style RAM slots uh, with the non-moving side here on the left and then the clip on the right. You've heard me talk about these. I'm not nuts about them because they just don't always seat the RAM in very well. They don't lock. Um... I can't speak to this board yet because I'm building on it, so we'll see. But I think it'll be okay. It's just, you know, I'm not I'm not nuts about it. I built a lot of systems, and I'm not nuts about it. Um, anyway, this board will support up to 64 gigs of RAM, which is cool. And that's another thing that Skylake is going to give you is access to more RAM without having to go into the Haswell E series uh, of processors. So you still get to stay in the lower-priced Skylake processor, get a lot of power, and get a lot of RAM, so 64 gigs of RAM. CPU fan connector right there. You'll notice there is not a CPU opt connector or one that usually is used for uh, liquid cooling. 
That's a little strange. I don't think it's a problem, but it is just something I found interesting. LGA 1151 um, pinout uh, socket, as I was saying, uh, is, and I do have an i760-700K installed in there right now. And, uh, and then over here on the top top of the north bridge, we're going to find the 12-volt uh, rails and another system fan connector. Okay, so that's pretty much the board. It's not a looker. Uh, let's just be honest. It's, you know, this isn't a super pretty board, but it's it's Gigabyte, and I love Gigabyte. It's pretty straightforward and pretty uh, pretty light on the profile. It's, say, ATX, it's not that full, full-size ATX. It's sliced off a little bit, so it's a little less wide. Uh, and it's got smaller heat sinks on it than a lot of these other boards. The Southbridge heat sink is quite small compared to what I see. But one of the things you're going to get with Skylake, in all honesty, is going to be much uh, better handling of the amount of power that these chips and overall the peripherals associated with these systems is going to draw. Therefore, you're not going to need these super big heat sinks in all of these systems. Depends on what you're going for. Finally, let's look at I.O. All right, so we've got a decent amount of USB, but not a ton two USB 2s and that old school PS2 connector. I Again, I keep saying it. Thanks, Gigabyte, for sticking to 20 years ago and keeping them on there. I don't know who uses them anymore, but they're there. Uh, Built-in video, and um, Skylake's going to give you a few different options. You're going to have access to Iris graphics and also to Intel HD graphics. This board, if I remember correctly, has Intel HD graphics, not Iris graphics. Iris is very impressive and would allow you to do gaming without having to uh, necessarily um, put in a third-party video card into your system. Intel HD graphics, it's okay, it does the job, it's not amazing. Uh, you do have VGA and DVI on this board. Now again, getting into the peripheral thing as I was talking about, here's an exciting thing about this board is access to USB-C 3.1, which is this tiny little oval port right here. Um, this is also sort of, um, it's also backwards compatible or forwards compatible, sideways compatible, whatever term you might want to use with uh, Thunderbolt 3.0. So this little port is going to give you access to potentially a ton of devices. The problem is there's not a whole slew of them just yet, but it's there. Um, you have a USB 3.0. Here's a USB 2.0, which is also going to double as a port for updating BIOS and things like that. Uh, you do get uh, yet another video output here. You've got standard gigabit Ethernet and then two USB 3s and then your audio inputs and outputs, just standard audio chipset, nothing too fancy on this board. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that video is HDMI, not DisplayPort, it's HDMI. So, you know, overall, this board, it's it's not the, you know, the most brilliant board on the planet. It doesn't offer a ton. It's a little bit limited, I think, on the number of, uh, on the amount of I.O. that it has. Um, I would like to see more USB ports, just in general. Um, because let's face it, it's pretty easy to use up, you know, six USB ports. Two of those for your keyboard, and you've already only got four left. Plug in a couple other things, and you're done. So you could end up having to add in a, a port, uh, a card add-in or two into this thing to get a lot more ports. Kind of a drag. But I think that the focus of this board ultimately is that Gigabyte is basically, you know, looking to those folks that are going to be using Thunderbolt and USB-C 3.1. And you can add in the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt card doesn't come with this board, but you can add it in. So I think that's probably where they're sort of leaning, but I, I, you know, I could be slightly wrong about that. Um, that's just what I think from you know everything I read and everything I see. So overall, it's a cool board. It's not anything amazing. Um, you know, I I think that it'll be easy to build with as these one as gigabyte usually is i'm just going to show you guys the back packaging while i kind of finish up here i know sometimes you want to see that and um you know overall not a bad board has the usual gigabytes you know lots of different offerings and etc big deals on this is sata express USB C 3.1 um and you know being able to do a lot more oh and that's something i should mention actually is that uh it does have an m2 connector 
and I didn't mention that, I apologize. The M2 slot is right here. So you can put an M2 drive onto this, which is pretty cool. So that's a lot faster than SATA 3. That's up, you know, as you can see, up to 32 gigabit. Um, whereas with SATA 3, you're at 6 gigabit. So that is pretty cool if you're looking for really fast storage. And then, of course, USB Type C, the world's next universal connector. We'll, we'll see, I hope. Um, the previous iterations of these next generation USB connectors have just been terrible. So I'm excited for this. I just haven't yet seen a whole lot of anybody else using it. So, you know, anyway, we will see what uh, ends up happening. Hopefully this is going to uh, usher in some more uh, really solid boards to handle Skylake. And uh, hopefully this is something that's cool to you guys. So thanks as always for tuning in. Again, I apologize for hand camming it and um, not having, you know, a pure white background and all that stuff. But I'm just too busy to be setting up right now. Um, I'll do another coverage of this board maybe at some point or another. Or, you know, more than likely you'll just see me talking about other boards as time goes on. Okay. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Check out brianbachiller.com for more. Hit me in the comments with your thoughts on what you want to know and what I didn't cover and et cetera, et cetera. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care. You said